and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev. And today we're going to be looking at the Fresnel node. And this is a little example I made. It's what this is, is this is a special type of material. Uh, this one is set up so that it rotates, but I'll also show you how you can make something that looks a little like this. So we're just going to go into materials, material M for now. And this sort of uh, material is really good for if you're doing VFX um, or to add a little uh, special touch. So I right clicked, made the material and take it into the material editor. First thing we're going to want to do is turn the blend mode from opaque to translucent, and which means we only have these uh, nodes to worry about. So I'm going to right click, type in constant or cons, and I want a constant three vector. What this means is there are three values, number values, and this is generally used for colors. So I'm just going to change this to a more fun color. Uh, let's make this one a sort of sea green. Get that up there. And you can actually type in uh, number values or you can uh, play with the uh, wheel here. So that's a nice little sea green. Now we don't actually want to uh, just stick this into base color. What we're going to do is grab a multiply node by right clicking, typing in, uh, I just type in this first part of the node name and you generally see it. So drag that here, drag this here, and then we're going to grab for now. Um, and this is a whole bunch of various uh, equations. Uh, you can affect these, but for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to leave the for now node as is. And what you'll see is the color right now is very solid. But when you pull this into the multiply, you'll notice that the color is more solid in the center and then becomes uh, white towards the edges. And if we tried another shape, it's a little trickier to see with other shapes. This generally works the best with spheres. We've got a nice little mathematical equation going on that gives this effect. And you could leave it as is, but we're not done. So next we're going to grab apply. And then we are going to pull this there and then into emissive color. So it's, and then we're going to grab a constant. So this is just one number value. And we'll make this something like, uh, say 50. So now what's going on here is this glows. And you can uh, bring this down more, so say to 25, so it can still glow, but you've got, you got the main color still in the center. Now we're going to grab yet another multiply node. And one thing I want you to see is if you just pull the Fresnel into opacity, you'll notice that you still had the white glow on the inside, on the outside. And yet yeah, it's still pretty translucent here. So this node is affecting the opacity as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to do something fun. So we're going to pull this into multiply. That there. And then we're going to grab some pretty interesting nodes that can do some fun things with. So the rotator node. What this does is it basically rotates a texture. 
So the coordinates and time. Um, so defaults to game time and defaults to constant coordinate if not specified. You can adjust these. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to leave those as is. And then we're just going to go into textures. And I made my own alpha, but uh, you can also grab alphas from, uh, like, if you went here and looked for grunge. Well, that's from another texture. But there are some uh, black and white uh, textures within. Or you can make your own like I did. So we're just going to pull coordinate into UVs. And then now what I like, the method I like to use is actually an S curve. Um, I admit, I don't quite know the equations that go into this, but I do know how it works. And pull this here. And already we're getting um, what you can see, the rotator, uh, the alpha is creating uh, textures and the rotator is moving that. So you get more interesting effect. And by using a constant, you can drag that into power and you can affect how much of the alpha is shown. So at the moment, uh, nothing's really shown. If you bump that up to say two, give it a sec, and then you can see more of uh, the design of the alpha is being shown. And there you have it. You have one Fresnel node. Uh, as one little bonus, uh, you can convert the color to a parameter. Just name it color. Don't leave caps lock on. And this way, if you, so we'll save this. And what converting that into a parameter does is if you went back into the content browser, and say you wanted to make an instance. So right click, create material instance. So M for now inst. You could double click on this and it doesn't bring you to the editor, but it, what it does allow you to do is change certain parameters that you've converted. So here color is one thing that can be changed. So you could Change this to more of a blue. And there you go. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and consider donating to my coffee. Have a good one.